On August 20th, a cargo-laden Israeli container ship, Zim Piraeus, lay anchored in San Francisco Bay. For the previous five days, the ship was at the center of demonstrations and picket lines in response to events in the Gaza Strip. My name is Howard Kaler. I'm a retired longshoreman, and uh, I'm 88 years old now. Port of Oakland is very important in terms of economic life for Israel. Nineteen eighty four Longshoremen carried out an eleven day strike against handling South African cargo in the port of San Francisco. It was the first strike in the US by workers. Uh, uh, against South African economic interests. It sent reverberations around the world. We salute members of the international longshoremen. They established themselves as the front line of the anti-apartheid movement in the Bay Area. Israel has been described as an apartheid state by South Africa. Uh, government, among others, and by independent observers. So the parallels are, are quite great. Responding to a call from Palestinian civil society to boycott the state of Israel, thousands of people marched to the port of Oakland on August 16th to block the Israeli-associated Zimlime ship from unloading its cargo. Over the next two days, daily pickets at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. coincided with worker shifts effectively blocking the ship from unloading. In 84, it was a, a conscious action on the part of the show, but it was a strike. <clears throat> Yesterday was, an, uh, was a blockade of the pier to prevent the ship from being worked with uh, hopefully uh, uh, passive resistance on the part of the long I'm standing right here next to an ILW worker. The Zimline ship has been blocked in Oakland. This is a victory. On August 19th, the loaded ship slipped out of the port of Oakland, only to turn around and attempt to unload at Ports America. The ILWU took no official position on the boycott, but many longshoremen chose not to cross the picket line because of the potentially volatile situation and the presence of police. You have to understand that workers' strikes, political strikes or solidarity strikes, are extremely rare because they're illegal. The penalties are, can be extremely severe. On August 20th, the ship set sail to Russia, five days behind schedule. I, I see direct parallels with um, the events in 1984 and around that period. It's, it's quite possible. This <coughs> can grow and continue. It has some effect on reality. I'm not interested in demonstrations for the sake of just declaring my views. I want to have some effect on social reality.